So here's a 14 by 10 beam, 30 feet long or so that I did 15 years ago and it rotted. And they were asking me to redo it again. It wasn't my fault, but so we had to make a pattern to use a router. We had to find the distance between the edge of the router bit and the edge of the router. And we transcribed that distance on the actual what we want to create uh, where the router pattern can use, if that makes any sense. So once we make this pattern with all these little arches with the compass thing, we uh, take the jigsaw and cut that out. And this is gonna be what the router will ride up against. That's, the ups that's an upside down version. Then we clamp this pattern down onto the beam, flushing it tightly with the edge, real tight. And we put a mark um, to let us know. We gotta transcribe it to the other side because we wanna move, the other side has to be routed exactly the same place. So here is the, the pattern. We want to check it to make sure with the little compass, this is the little distance, um, the distance of the edge of the router to the router bit. And this is, this is the way you can kind of see to double check, make sure that it's going to be where you want it to be. So once that's done, you can get the plunge router and that's the router. You can push it down. It's on a spring. You push it and it goes down. We can make it go about a three and a half inch, but we have to go an eighth of an inch at a time. So I turned the sound off. It was so loud. So, we can push it down, see we push it down, then lock it and go about an eighth of an inch deep. And then I speeded this one up a little bit. This clip's not, I was doing it with one hand, holding the camera with one hand, so it's a little awkward. So you go about an eighth of an inch. It takes a while to go uh, both sides. It takes a good while because it, you just cannot go but so deep at a time, but it's a whole lot better. They said, get a bandsaw for this job. I bought a bandsaw for $1,100 and it, it wasn't totally worthless. Okay, I used it for other stuff. But this cannot be done with a bandsaw. Um, and then you come back with a balance, so you cut both sides, it won't go all the way through. You take a half inch drill and you push it through and you take a lot of the wood out and then, um, then you follow through after the drill with a, with a, a reciprocating saw and uh, cut the rest of it out, which I'll show you real briefly here. So here comes the Sawzall. Um, to cut out the balance. It's a little easier to cut it when you've already plowed out all those drill holes. And so the fit now there, here's where you have to move your feet out of the way. This is uh, very important because when this thing falls, this is a, this beam I could not lift it one millimeter up off that bench. Uh, it was very heavy. Uh, it was put on the job by the fork, but there it goes. So what you have left is gonna be what has to be uh, uh, taken with a grinder with a 16 grit paper to smooth off. Now I had to turn this uh, with a lever, you know, um, because it, you cannot twist it by hand. So I put a two by four and ratchet strapped it down and pulled it with the leverage. You know, Archimedes said, if you give me where up to stand, I shall move the world. So it, uh, it's a lot easier to do it with leverage. So, but I didn't want it to fall too quickly because I wanted to crush down on my uh, aluminum saw benches. I reinforced it with those concrete blocks and stuff, but, but I had to let it down ever so slowly. Now, this is, uh, anybody wants to do this, this is a very easy way to do this without using a bandsaw. And so I wanna give away this secret to help help uh, any of you young men or young whoever's. So here's the grinder with six, uh, 16 grit paper, about 10 minutes per side. It very easily will cut the rest of it off and you kinda of have to be artistic and very delicate and just, just smooth it out. And, uh, and so it will, um, it will look quite, quite nice when it's all done. I'll show you in just a sec. So uh, this is the way you cut heavy beams with a router, a plunge router. So hope you enjoy it.